Constructors and Destructors Constructors and destructors are special types of functions that belong to a class. The constructor will be run automatically when a new instance of the class is created. The constructor can be useful for setting up the object. Destructors are run automatically when the instance of the class is destroyed. The destructor can be useful for cleanup. Constructors must have the same name as the class and have no return type written. And destructors must also have the same name as the class, but starting with a tilde, and it also does not have a return type. We could have one or more constructors, but only one destructor. The constructor without any parameters is called the default constructor, and can be used to set up an object's variables with default values. The constructor with parameters is called the parameterized constructor, and can be used to set up an object's variables with the parameters given. The destructor cannot have parameters and is just used for cleanup before the object is destroyed. Closing files or freeing memory is a common use of destructors. There is also another type of constructor called a copy constructor, where the class's constructor takes in another class object. With the other object passed in, we can specify how we want its data copied from the other to this instance. If we don't explicitly create our own copy constructor, then most compilers create one and copy all the variables over by default. In some instances, you might want to copy some variable's values, but not all. It's a design decision. For example, if we've written a class that dynamically allocates space using a pointer, we do not want to copy the memory address over to another class. We can easily run into memory issues by having two different pointers in different objects point to the same memory address. For example, if one object frees the memory at that address, the other object is still pointing to that address, and may end up dereferencing an invalid memory address. This sort of copy that results in values being copied over like this, a pointed to address being a pointer's value, is called a shallow copy. Instead, it's better for us to write our own copy constructor if our class deals with pointers. Rather than copying over the memory address between the pointers, we will do a deep copy by allocating new space in memory and then making a copy of all the data from the other object. Compilers also generally create a default constructor implicitly if you do not explicitly create one. There can be a lot of nuances to how functions, classes, and various object-oriented programming features work in C++ and in other languages. A class on object-oriented programming will cover more details, and there are also resources in books and online to learn more about C++ and its inner workings.